Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be giving the correct rankings for all of the Roblox The Classic games. So pretty much, I just want to say before we start, the event was okay. It wasn't much better than the hunt, but it was a tiny bit better. There was a bit, the, the highs were higher, but the lows were much lower, way, 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 way lower. And it kind of averages out to still being really bad, but really bad is still better than really shit, which is what the hunt was. So there's improvement. I also do want to say the classic hub isn't on here, even though I think it should be, it's an S. It has a bunch of secrets, references to older Roblox things. It's a really good hub, and I consider a game in itself because it has so many quests just to do in the hub. I do want to say that that is a bit of BS, that you can't get half the items from the hunt without paying Robux. You need to drop $100 on the man set, and another, I mean, my bad, $200 on the explore set, and another $200 on the Valkyrie set. So pretty much, I don't see majority of the player base getting that it's a little crazy i'd say 200 dollars is a bit much not even a discount if you finish everything so it's whatever we're gonna start i'm gonna start from probably worst games to best or I, i'll just do last to start yeah last to begin it makes sense so first game scary toilet tower defense oh wait another thing before we start i'm so sorry i do want to say one peop one problem people have with a lot of the games is that they're not quote unquote classic and I can understand the frustration. However, I think the point of the event was to kind of celebrate classic Roblox and parody it. However, half the games didn't parody it very well. Which I can't also like it was just it wasn't good, it wasn't good. And I don't see why they didn't use classic games, because even if it kind of defeated the point of paying homage if they were making the classic games do it they'd still be a better event and on top of that it's just i don't know it could have been better but it's whatever so we'll start i mentioned that because toilet tower defense is where we're starting and it it had a lot of controversy around the event not because it is um bad well depends on how you look at it it's not because it like anyone is bad there or stuff Actually, I don't remember. I think the, the owner was doing something weird, but that's besides the point. The problem people have with it is that it's, I think it's literally, it's second newest right after Dusty Trip on this list. Maybe Clip It's a newer as well. Dressed in Press also. But it is one of the newer games. It's a new gen. So people did have a lot of problems with being on the classic event because it's supposed to be for classic. But... Actually, there's no buts. I really don't like Skibbity Toilet Tower Defense. The music's really annoying. It's like copy-pasted off of YouTube shorts. Uh, the game's kind of ugly. But the event wasn't that bad. If you imagine Tower Defense Simulator from The Hunt and you Skibbity Toiletified it, then that's what the uh, the classic was for Skibbity Toilet Tower Defense. So I'll give it a B since they kind of just copied tower defense simulator and the game is really ugly and annoying um that's not even trying to be mean it like it actually hurts my eyes and i have to meet the game every time i play so next we're gonna go the better one tower defense simulator i'm gonna put that in a uh the ticks were super easy to find the tokens were okay i know that instead like for the hunt it did one game but for this, they did five different games with preset builds, so it's a lot more accessible to people who don't have, um, like, good units. Like in Skibbity Toilet Tower Defense to finish the event, I just spam traded people until someone asked, What's good in the hood, Mr. Krabs? I said, All good. Then they gave me a couple of legendaries, so that was pretty cool. Like, Tower Defense Simulator was okay. A couple- some people did have a couple of, uh, trouble with some of the levels. But I thought it was pretty easy if you use a certain strat. 
of kind of placing the um, the single hits in the back and AOEs in the front. It was, uh, it's like kind of, if you knew how to play Tower Defense Simulator, it was okay, but if you didn't know how to play it, it was kind of rough. Um, and I do want to say another thing. All of the better games in this, I realized the other day, I thought it was funny because most of them were kind of just wave defense. Like, that'll bring me to the next one. I'm just going to go out of order. Beast Storm Simulator. Oh, shoot. I scrolled down. Beast Storm Simulator. It was another good one. It was, I was really surprised by it because I didn't actually know on it could script that. But, uh, which is the creator of Beast Storm. And he kind of... It was a, I think it was, I thought it was really good. So there was like slimes, there was zombies, like the classic zombies. And I don't think the slimes were classic, but there was still slimes, right? And you obviously had a bunch of access to all the classic tools, like the trowel, the rocket, the different swords. I thought that was pretty cool. And pretty much what you had to do is you had to get bricks to get these upgrades, upgrade your bees, get your equipment, and then stuff will slowly start to come towards you. I did post a video on how to do it all in case you're having trouble because I do know this is one of the harder ones and I really enjoyed it. You don't even have to get that far. You could complete this in like 20 minutes if you're good enough at the game. Um, yeah, so I there's not much to say about it. It was just good. Now, I do want to say outside of the classic event, this has been the first update in a year. No, not a year. I mean, there was a minor update in Christmas, but Beesmus is still coming, guys, I swear. Uh, on it leaked it and stuff. Anyways, we're gonna go into the next one. Restaurant Tycoon 2, I wanna put that at F tier. Oh my god, why is it an F, C, T, F, 5, 6, 7? I'll tell you guys why. It was AFK Simulator. There wasn't much to it. I kinda just spawned in, ran around, got the ticks, and then watched YouTube for an hour or two. And that was about it. Cause I mean, I had a decent restaurant. It could seat like maybe 50 guests, but it still took quite a while. Um, it was okay. Next we have Livtopia. Actually, no, it's not okay, it's an F. Please don't join the thing back, Restaurant Tycoon 2. This is the second time you've made me do this, where I sit still for 30 minutes, two and two hours. Please, never again. Livtopia, we're gonna do D. You'll find a common theme among the F's and the D's. Livtopia, you just run around and find stuff. After doing fetch quests for about 30 minutes, or not 30 minutes, I wanna say more like 10, 20. It's not that long, it's really fast and easy. So I can't complain that much. It just sucks that it wasn't really that good. But um, yeah, you were kind of just running around finding stuff. Next we have Gunfight Arena. I'm putting that in B above Scooby Toilet Tower Defense. I really liked how when you'd spawn in, you would have to find the ticks. No, I didn't like that you have to find the ticks before having to get the tokens. You you needed to get the ticks to unlock the um the stuff to do the tokens, which like you'll get the ticks, you'll unlock the weapons, and then you have to use those weapons a certain amount of times to get the ticks. Um, I really don't like any game that makes you have to get the ticks to get the tokens. And it's not because I didn't, like I 100% it clearly, I wanted to 100% it. Except it's kind of a problem when people who don't care about 100%ing it have to get the ticks now to unlock the tokens, which they just want for the accessories. Which makes it really annoying for a lot of people that are not really as crazy as, as the people who 100%ed it. But um... Yeah, I mean, it was okay. You get tags, use classic weapons on a classic map. I thought it was really good. The classic weapons were fun. A couple of them were hard to use, but that was more of like a difficulty skill thing. So I don't really care. And I'm per like pretty sure the enemy team is normally bots, so it's super easy if you just stay uh, spawn camp them. That's what um, most teams do, I'm pretty sure, in Gunfight Arena. Next, we're going on a Driver Empire. In fact, I'm going to make... Um, a new row called Driving Empire. And it's gonna be super F. Because holy shit, that was so ass. Oh my god. Please stay out of the event. I would pay money to not see Driving Empire 
in a future event. Because, oh my god, in the hunt, it was a boring quest where I drove around for 30 minutes while watching YouTube. And in this, it is the same thing, but worse. You know, you guys know how I completed the event for Dreaming Empire? I turned in an auto clicker and went to sleep for about five hours. Now, if you didn't do any points and you were just doing it by AFKing, it'd take 10 hours total. I did do a bit of grinding, so I only needed like, um, like six hours, I think. It was still pretty bad, like, that was, that was ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, so please stay out. I consider Driving Empire my own personal hell. I consider the classic event as a whole a personal hell. I do not wish to partake in ever again. Let's do blue for that. Oh, you're not snazzy. Okay, just to impress. Um, I'll put this in high beat. It was really short, which I appreciate. You just find the ticks. Again, I don't like how you have to find the ticks to unlock the tokens. You have to find the ticks to go to a parkour area, which is separate from the main game. So, it's really fast. You just do the parkour. The parkour is a little hard if you're on mobile, from what I've heard. But it is still quite doable. So this is definitely one of the easier ones. And you can legitimately complete this in 10 minutes. So it's insanely fast. And I did enjoy the obby. It was pretty. And it was nice and short i can't really complain though my well i can't complain my only complaint is that um there wasn't much to it it wasn't obby that's it next we have dragon adventures that's going in d tier reason for that you have to find these eggs and then you just hatch them and then you get the stuff and you have to find a certain amount of eggs for meet a 1x 1x 1x1 Meteorite to spawn and you break that to get a token egg. You hatch them all, you get the ticks and the tokens, right? And the problem is, is that the ticks eggs are kind of rare. And to um, go to the next area, you have to hatch... My bad, guys. You have to hatch dragons. And, I don't know, I, I really didn't like it. I got... It was so bad I had to quit midway through and then come back later. But, um, yeah, it was okay. I didn't really like it. I'm gonna put Blade Ball in C tier. I know a lot of people are like, guys, this is the Widow Week, the worst event in the World Box event. And I can see where they're coming from. I per This is my least favorite because I couldn't just AFK it. I had to actively play while what? not enjoying it and pretty much needing to be afk because pretty much right you spawn and you have to do quests one of the requirements which i think a lot of people had problems on is to win games now that is definitely a skill issue i've never people are like oh my god some of the abilities are literally pay to win but i don't like with basic ability i was winning like plenty of games even when i didn't need the wins I was still just playing and winning games, so I thought it was pretty easy. And on top of that, the but there's a boss battle mode, which you have to do a couple times to complete it. That also counts as getting a win. The hardest part is having to wait for the map to rotate to something you need for a ticks, because there's about one ticks per event. I mean, per map that's in the classic event, meaning that you kind of just have to wait for the map to come. So I was waiting like an hour or two just for the map to spawn. And I was, I was only waiting for one, which made it even more annoying. But aside from that, I mean, it was okay. I'd put it lower, but I did... I mean, the boss fight was kind of cool, I guess. Not really. But it was better than Liptopia, Dragon Adventures, Restaurant Tycoon, and Driving Empire. So I'll give it to them there. Uh, next, we're doing Adopt Me. That's like basically AFK Simulator as well. You find the ticks, you get your pet, you sit there for an hour, let them get needs do their needs age up the teapot because it's a pet that's gonna get the tokens it's super simple super easy it literally tells you how to do everything for it if you have trouble with the ticks they're a little spread out just look up a guide if you have trouble with any of the ticks you can normally just look up a guide that's what I, when i started getting to like the last five games that's pretty much what i did because i wasn't doing all that as especially in clip it let me say in clip it 
You're gonna need a guide, bro. I don't care what you say, unless you're an avid clip it player, you are not finding that without a guide. Because there are so many areas that are just spread out. And this is, it's not AFK simulator, but I'll tell you, this is walking simulator right here. I'm walking around and per, like finding, getting the tokens as well as just finding stuff and then taking a little snap of it in the game. So you were just like, fi just a finding simulator. I really didn't like it. I was kind of just um, watching a guide. The guide I watched was pretty bad. So that kind of ruined my experience as well for it. Um, yeah, clip it. It was okay. I actually do want to say though that the um, the actual game clip it on Roblox is actually really interesting. I find it super cool how they put a social media platform on a social media platform. That's a little weird. And Bed Wars. Wave defense! I love wave defense! Pretty much you spawn in. Well, first you have to find all the tickets in the lobby. Then you do the special game mode, which is Penguin Defense. Now, I got. I was doing this for like an hour or two, and I got so fed up. Like, my. I don't, I'm not sure if you can solo it or not, but I ended up just going to the Discord server and asking someone to help me. So, I mean, that was kind of lame, but I was tired and I had to complete this yesterday because I have to go to the air for something. And, I mean, it was okay. It was kind of difficult. So, if you are an inexperienced player, or like a younger player, or someone who just generally doesn't understand how to play Bed Wars, are probably gonna have difficulties like you had to do the strats where you have to block a penguin off when it's the last one so that you can get more resources after that also you have to use the free kits they do give you some of the best kits for this mode available for free which i do enjoy um amy axolotl and ember use those i'd suggest doing ember so you can do a strat where you sit on the bed and spam your spin to um win I also do recommend using the healing totems, but this is for if you're gonna do it. I mean, this is probably one where if I wasn't doing 100%, I'd just skip it because it's really difficult. Maybe get a couple of the tokens from here, but then that, I don't think I'd complete the whole thing because it's really difficult. Next is Arsenal. In my opinion, I consider Arsenal the hardest, well, if you're solo. If you're solo, this is the hardest. I did enjoy it. However, some of the tokens were kind of BS. Like for example, it was like the hunt, except the if the hunt wasn't a stealth mission and the guns were worse. So you spawn in, you have to go through, you have to find 1x, 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 1, and you just run through and stuff. But the problem is that going through it is just one token. You get one token for finding all the ticks, you get one token for doing it solo, you get one token for doing it under 12 minutes, and you get one token for doing it with only the classic gun, which is like a little handgun. So, the it's like two sides of the same coin. Because so far I've only speeded the speedruns of the Arsenal Classic event mode at about 10 minutes, meaning I have to get pretty much near the like a minute or two within the speed run to get a token and you have to do the classic gun which is more difficult in itself because there's snipers so you have to snipe with the pistol so that's really hard and on top of that you have to do a cheese at a couple of parts to beat this one boss enemy and he makes it really hard in some parts luckily i accidentally found the cheese before it um became popularized so I got it done really fast, but I mean, I had to practice for the speed run, which was a little annoying because if you made like enough, like five mistakes or more, you pretty much just had to restart immediately. Um, thankfully though, it's like 12 minutes if you're going super fast, which is like the minimum. But on my first attempt, it did take me 40 minutes. So it was a little bit rough, but we got there. I do know some people just straight up had to skip it because they couldn't do it. And there's a lot of people banned from Arsenal because apparently the mods are corrupt or something. I don't know, I didn't research it. I was just talking to people. And finally, we have Dusty Trip. Dusty Trip, my beloved. It was pretty fun. Dusty Trip's a good game when you drive around. I think it's, I haven't played the base game, 
So I'm not sure if this is true, but I think there's zombies and stuff. Normally, you have to get your car, you can take parts, make it better, get weapons and supplies and stuff, and you drive along the road. And for the classic event, I mean, it was pretty short, but I did mess up a couple of times. So the first time, I accidentally left the car running and got out, so just drove away without me. That was a good one. Um, there was another time where I did the exact same thing, except my teammate was in the car and just drove off with them. It was a random. And the third time, I was at the very end doing the boss fight, and I accidentally fell off because there's a lot of holes in the- well, there's not a lot of holes in the ground, but if you go too far off the left or right in the boss fight, you can just- And it's, um, rough. And it, there was a free revive as well, and I used it, except I didn't have my weapon because it fell down with me. So, I pretty much just wasted a free revive. But it's whatever, I did enjoy the Dusty trip. It played a lot of respect to a lot of classic stuff, despite being a new gen game. It was fun, it was short if you don't fuck up, and yeah, it was pretty good. So this is the official, most accurate, politically correct, best, Roblox the classic event. Now, my opinion on the event as a whole. Some of the games were much better than others. Much, much better. And some of the games were a lot worse. Much, 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 much worse. Worse, worse, worse. And there's not much we can really do about it aside from kind of mass dislike, mass hate on these games that didn't really have a good event. I mean, you don't even need to hate on these. These were okay. I'm mostly talking about Driving Empire. Down with Driving Empire. I hate Driving Empire now. Driving Empire is my op. I think that we should all go to the page and dislike it. Don't threaten the devs though, that's pretty mean. But let's dislike Driving Empire. Because stop putting it in the event so it can do lame ass events. I actually do hate on the dev, just don't send death threats. Because they are actively choosing to join this event and make shitty events. But, it, I mean, yeah, the classic event was pretty good. And there was also, like, there's more stuff kind of being added to the hub as it comes to a close. I think there was an extension by a couple of days on the event, if I'm not wrong. So it ends in June 1st instead of May 28th, which is tomorrow at the time of recording this. I did finish it a little late. I wish I could have done it earlier. But I did get asleep a couple of times, and I already started late, so I wasn't even close to getting it. But, um, yeah. It was, it was okay, it was better than the hunt, I'll give them that. Oh, I did also make a couple other tier lists. I made one for a uh, difficulty. So, if you had questions on which one's the hardest or which one's the easiest, so that you can kind of go do it if you're super late, you can do these. Oh my goodness, why do I keep burping? Yeah, these are difficulty. The only thing about the easy ones is that sometimes they take a while and they're super long and tedious. Like a Driving Empire, Adopt Me, and Restaurant Tycoon. But other than that, it's okay. But, um, yeah. I generally just like this event. But, um, I want to know your thoughts down below. Oh, I do also want to say... Wait, I'll put my files up on another screen. I'll edit them into the video. I do want to talk about it. It's like, it was very interesting. Because, like, there's two sides of the spectrum. There's some who absolutely hated the event in its entirety. Which I don't agree with. Like, uh, let me quote him. Pass D. Verified. Classic event sucked. Final battle flopped. Final prize behind a $400 paywall. Not one game was fun, all of them capitalized on premium payouts rather than entertaining experiences. At this point, I want these Roblox bootlickers to shut the fuck up. This event sucked. That's final. I don't think he's a, a content creator, I think he's just part of the RTC community, which is Roblox Twitter community. I do agree with half of what he says. One, a couple of the games were fun and didn't capitalize on premium payouts. Some of them were really entertaining. I don't know if he had truck. He is like someone who actively plays Pez Simulator. So I kind of have to take that into account. Because I see him on Twitter. I follow him. By the way. Don't hate these people either. 
I generally do think they're cool. I'm just kind of like throwing out their opinions in kind of kind of, I'm trying to spread these thoughts around so that you can guys can better formulate an opinion. I do agree. Also, yeah, he's right about the final battle being flopped. Once you get enough tokens and stuff, I don't know if there, I think there's a token requirement. But once you do that, the um, now the penguin opens up. You go down. You fight 1x, 1x, 1x in like 30 seconds, and then you get credits. <clears throat> Holy shit, man, it's 1x, 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 1x! Save me, save me. This is a bit of an easy fight. He needs to get on my level. Literally. The code is in different spots. I just got it in the server, but for some reason they didn't know the order. You know, the colors are there. Man. This really was a Roblox of the classic, presented by Roblox, developed by Twin Atlas. Ah. Until next time. Dot dot dot. We defeated 1x, 1x, 1x1, guys. Man. I feel so victorious after doing every badge, ticks, and token. Yippee! That's it. You don't get a reward. You don't get anything. The boss fight was lame. Um, yeah, I mean, the final battle was bad. And you kind of need to pay $400 to get 100% in the event, which I thought was so lame. So I'm only going to be able to have 90% on the classic without paying $400, which is like, hello? That might be pay to complete. But um, yeah, I did, I didn't, I did hate that. And he is right about driving empire, uh, being premium payouts. A couple of them are mostly just driving empire restaurant tycoon adopt me. I don't think all of these were really premium payout stuff. He's kind of a trip in there. Blade ball might've been, but it wasn't that bad. I did have to wait a while because I think I was just unlucky. And there's another person, a blocks boy. Both these people are super nice as well and super cool. Please don't be mean to them. Med suck. I don't want to be like the dude that sends attackers. But here's a blocks boy. He's really cool. He's really nice and sweet. He's like, am I the only Roblox player who actually like the Roblox Classic event? Like, all I'm seeing now is videos of people not liking the event. Sure, it has their flaws, but it was still cool. Um, I don't know what event he played, but I don't think it was the classic event. And if it was, I think he probably only played Arsenal, um, Beast Swarm Simulator, The Hub, because The Hub had a lot in it, and maybe, like, Bed Wars and Dusty Trip. That's my theory, because there's no way if he 100%ed it, he genuinely enjoyed doing that. Because after, like, I started getting through half the games, I was like, okay, I'm ready to get this done with. I just started watching guides halfway through. I, I know I was making guides, but then I just couldn't even be bothered. Because, like, some of them were so genuinely easy. And I was already kind of late, so I was like, what's the point of making a guide? And the, the hub, the funnest part was probably the hub. Other than a couple games like Beast Swarm, Tower Defense... I do actually like Blade Ball, but I, yeah, people did have trouble with it, and I hated waiting for the ticks. Arsenal is pretty good, but Dusty Trip's definitely my favorite. But um, yeah, I want to know you guys' thoughts on the Roblox Classic event. Wow, we made this uh, tier list much shorter than the hunts. About an hour shorter. Goodness gracious. Thank God. Much easier to edit. But um, anyways. 
yeah, comment down below your opinions on the hunt. I don't mind discussing in the comments and stuff. And if you want to join the Discord server down below, you can do that. Or subscribe, or go to my Twitter, or any of that stuff. And, um, yeah. Expect some more content soon. I'll be gone for a couple of days, but it's whatever. I hope you all have a good day. Bye-bye. It sucks.